recipe, the only thing that's not featured is the chicken, which I'm going to have to cook up myself. You should just get a rotisserie chicken, tear it apart, and make this really easy, but I'm going to use some chicken breast we have in the freezer. We're going to use whole wheat tortillas instead of flour, which it calls for. Two cups of cheddar cheese, a little bit of hot sauce. It does not make this recipe hot. It really just rounds out the flavor a little bit. I don't like hot things, but I noticed you really do need it. Some uh, mayo. I'm going to try and substitute some yogurt for the mayo, so just plain organic yogurt for me. A little bit of sour cream, and then cilantro. Our cilantro is starting to look sad, so I'm glad I'm using it. And then you're supposed to use a scallion or like a green onion, but we don't have any, so I'm going to try and use a red onion, which might not be the best idea, but I'm working with what we got. So all of that plus some shredded chicken. That's what you need. You're just using the green onions like the recipe calls for. You just have to chop them up. You don't have to grill them. There isn't an extra cooking step. But I wanted to enhance the sweetness a little bit and take out some of the sharp onion flavor. So that's why I'm going to just, I guess, saute these in olive oil for a little while. We're going to mix one third cup of mayo, two tablespoons of sour cream, your green onions or your scallions, the cilantro and the celery all together. I've added more of the sour cream and the mayo in here because I'm going to up this recipe a little bit. I decided not to substitute the mayo for the yogurt because I'm already doing the red onions. I don't want to do too many substitutions. It might get weird up in this mug. Here's my beautiful so. cilantro. Yes, it's way too much. You only need one fourth cup, but I just chopped up the whole thing since I didn't want it to go bad. And I love cilantro, so I might make some salsa later out of that too. And there's my celery. We're going to toss them both I in I think the bowl. I'm fired from my professional cooking show before I was ever hired. I forgot to add the hot sauce, so you should put that in when you just have the mayo mixture before the greens. But you need two tablespoons, I think. So we're just going to do a little of this. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Let's make sure it says tea or tablespoons and not teaspoons. Yeah, tablespoons. I'm going to start there because I do want Scarlett to be able to eat this. And I've noticed that even though you do add a considerable amount of hot sauce, it really blends in and then you can't even taste it. So stir all of that. Shred up. your chicken. This is just some cooked chicken breast that I made. Shred it and mix it in. The thing I like about this recipe is that measuring doesn't really matter that much. You just want to mix in the amounts that you like. So if you want more veg or more chicken or more sauce, you just add more of those things. So it's nice. I like that. Now they say not to add the cheese in until you're going to line the tortillas, but I want to mix a little cheese in there, so I'm going to do that. Maybe one third cup. Heat your skillet to medium and add some olive oil or cooking spray. Normally you would just put some cheese, leaving a space around the edge, like an inch space, and then put a dollop of the mix in and make yourself a little wrap. But because I'm using smaller tortillas, I'm going to do it quesadilla style. So I'm going to put the cheese all over, put the glop on top, then put more cheese, and then another quesadilla to make a nice sandwich. I'm going to try and flip the whole heavy thing, and then I'll slice them like a pizza. It may not be pretty, but it's really tasty. So now we're going to top with cheese. Cheese on top, tortilla on top if you're doing it quesadilla style like me. Press it down a little bit. We're going to let it cook, and then I'm going to attempt to flip okay, that thing. Okay, get ready for catastrophe. Uh, 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 holy crap! I did it! This is the end result if you make them quesadilla style like I did. Looks pretty much like the picture, and they are so good. Ryan loves them. We make them quite a bit. I'll put the links below. Oh my gosh. They are so delicious. It's like a creamy... Oh, the cilantro. Oh, it is just so good. You guys have got to try these. They're really not that hard at all. You want to try them too, huh? Delicious.